All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom to the nation of Israel. <clears throat> First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also. To the fellow laborers that's in the ministry pushing the word of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Shalom. <clears throat> I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midness Branch, coming at you with another quick lesson. And before I get into my lessons, uh, this quick video, uh, this message goes out to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical. Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, <clears throat> and also to the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the heathen nations, and they may take on a typical look of another nation. But if your bloodline goes back to Negro, Latino, or Native American descent by the seed of your father, you're considered an Israelite as well. So shalom to you, brothers and sisters, that scattered worldwide, and that's in the faith and exalted name of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Shalom. All right. So basically, like I, you know, make mention, this is going to be a quick video, you know, through the spirit, you know, Lord's will. But basically, I'm getting into a quick lesson about the response of our beloved uh, uh, Elder Apostle Gabar video. Well, recently, you know, he was doing, you know, series of videos going into. Um, their elder, one of their elders that don't, you know, that passed, but they learned the truth from, known as King Masha. Okay, and you know, and in the video he went into about, you know, a, a, a individual that supposedly saying that, you know, they don't believe in reincarnation and that's not biblical, and they don't believe that who are apostles and elders as you know recognize, you know, King Masha one of their elders, their teachers, as King David, okay? And that's a big controversy amongst a lot of these Israelites or people that tune in, tune in to Great Millstone and our apostles and elders make mention of their elders. And one of their elders, as I make mention, uh, King Masha, that they stated through faith, okay, and through the spirit that he is King David, man, okay? And, you know, I'm just doing a response uh, you know, adding my two cents in that, you know, that I truly believe me being a follower of Great Millstone, which are the, which is of the spirit and power you have about your mouth shy. I believe that, you know, and other brothers as well, that we believe that as our elders and apostles taught us that King Masha is King David, man. And it's biblical and that's scripture, man. Okay. Because we understand that when it comes to the understanding of the truth and the, you know, the, uh, uh, when the truth started, okay, starting with uh, Abba Bibbins, okay, or Rabbi uh, Abba Bibbins, you know, and the, you know, the ones that was under him, which was one was, you know, King Masha, uh, High Priest Ariah, and, and uh, uh, High Priest Yaquab, okay, was the foundation of the truth being pushed mainly in the late, or uh, I, I say the early 70s, man, okay, as the you know history of the One West that our apostles and elders go back to, okay, and, you know, over the years of following Great Millstone, okay, they taught us about the history, man, how One West was built and how this truth sprung out of One West into what we have now, okay? And those men pay, play a key part into the truth being pushed, man, Okay, the foundation of the truth through the spirit and the power you have about your mouth was shy. And as they said, man, they make a vow and took the oath that King Masha is King David. Okay, not willing to vow that too, man, through the spirit, man. Uh, and if you, you know, uh, follow Great Millstone and our apostles and elders, and they tell you about, you know, they, their elders, and, you know, and, you know, there's, you know, constantly, uh, giving honors to their elders, man. And, you know, constantly uploading, you know, old videos from the 
the time that came Masha and the ones that was under him during the time of One West. Okay, you got, you know, videos, you know, that's that's out there of them doing the work, man. Okay. And if you're spiritual and you ever see the teaching of King Masha, it the spirit will relate to you that no doubt that King Masha is King David. Okay. And at this time, as I may mention, King Masha, as we've been taught that, you know, he's now in the, the spiritual realm. Okay. But he's going to come back. Okay. As I may mention earlier, uh, reincarnation, the word reincarnation means uh, back in the, the flesh. Okay. Because when you die, everybody who die, they go back to the spiritual realm and they come back in their next lifetime. Okay. Through reincarnation. Okay. Uh, from the heavenly father and the son. Okay, nobody dies and that's it, okay? Death is nothing but one transition from one life to the next, okay? And the times that we're coming into, when Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Christ, return, okay, and, not, and the faith, and according to the scriptures, Yahweh Shem Shai is going to raise up King David, okay? Which is King Masha, man. And I, and I, and I speak that boldly, man, because I truly have the faith that King Masha is King David, right along with the rest of the great men that was under him that's that's that's, that's coming back into their lot, okay? The men that uh, did the work with King Masha back then, okay? And, then to now, and now that you have the, the true men of the Lord here today that's back into their lot, okay? And like Apostle Gabar made the statement, man, you have to be in the spirit and it have to be given unto you, man. And it's going to be given unto the elect to understand the deep understanding of these scriptures, man. Okay? To be, you know, spiritual, man. Okay? And I pray you, Yahweh Shemel Shah, that I'm part of that number. And the water, Yahweh Shemel Shah, for giving me this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that I have learned from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Okay? And also another way of saying the elect is the house of David, man. So how the Lord is going to raise up the elect known as the house of David, but David is not going to rule. And you got Israelite camps make mention of that, that King David is not going to be the king uh, in Israel when Yahweh Shai set up the kingdom. Okay? Hey, it's Yahweh Shai, and up under Yahweh Shai is King David. And the order go out from there, man. And that's scripture, man. So I'm going to just, you know, get a couple of scriptures and, you know, and pray that this, this um, video be, or this lesson be edifying to the ones out there listening, man. Because in the scriptures, it tell you in the last days that the Lord is going to raise David in, the, in his house up, the elect up. And no doubt, Cain David is part of the house of David. The house of David wouldn't be the house of David without Cain David, man. Okay? And that's how the Lord set it up. And once again, here at Great Millstone, okay, the, the following of Great Millstone, those that rooted in the faith, and that's you know, listening and following for a while, you know. But me personally, I believe that King Masha is King David, and he is going to be risen again once Shehab Bashim Masha established the kingdom. And that's scripture. So let me just get a couple of scriptures. I got, you know, three in mind. And that, you know, be the, the lesson, you know, just three heavy scriptures going into King David. Now, this is Amos chapter 9, verse 11. And it says, and in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. And you're saying that now, okay, with this word being pushed, okay? And it started from Abba Bibbins, okay, uh, uh, um, King Masha, high priest Ariah. And high priest Yaquab and the man that under him that you know has established the foundation of the truth being pushed or the awakening of Israel, that the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, that we are the Lord's chosen people. Okay, and that from that time it extended, okay, from the period of time of you know one west to what we have now. Okay, and that our apostles and elders enter into their labor. Okay. And continuing the work of pushing the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So you're seeing now, due to this word being pushed, you're seeing the house of David being gathered, man. 
And once again, the house of David is another way of saying the representation of the elect, the 144,000 and the one third, which is going to be that body government under Yahweh Shai. Okay. And it says, Amos chapter 9, verse 11. And in that day, will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. And you're seeing that now with this word being pushed. And close up the branches thereof. Okay. They're going into the Lord's uh, uh, bringing back the elect of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, man. Okay. Because the elect is not going to have any division amongst each other. Okay. Ain't going to be no, the, the Negroes divided from the Latinos and the Hispanics and the Native Americans, okay? When they're according to the scriptures, the elect is going to be gathered as one. And the elect consider uh, 12,000 men out of each tribe of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel was equal up to 144,000, okay? But, and plus you have the, the multitude, the great multitude, which consider the one-third, which are Israelites as well, and those that descended out of that bloodline. Okay, but you're seeing the Lord closing up the breaches thereof, man. Because one part of time, man, as a nation, before we, this word was establishing the awakening of, of who we really are, we was divided. Okay, and our people are still divided today, but the point is that the Lord is gathering the house of David, the elect, and there ain't going to be no difference, differences amongst the elect when, uh, when it comes to accepting each other that we the Israelites. Okay, the, the southern kingdom accepted the northern kingdom, and we're the Lord's chosen people. Okay, so that's what, so that's what it's going into. The Lord says so He's going to close up the branches thereof. Ain't going to be no more split. And now uh, <clears throat> let me continue on. And it says, and I will raise up His ruins and will build it as in the days of old. And you seeing that, man? Okay, because when David back in the ancient time, when David was ruling, you had all twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. Uh, um, being being ruled by by David, okay, and that was basically that was really where we was at the height of our our, our, our rulership and us being really close to Yahweh Bashmiah was shot before that fall, man, okay, and eventually we fell as the as a nation, okay, now to the point that we are here in captivity, but now we seeing Yahweh Bashmiah Shai raising up. The house of David, okay, which was ruined, okay, they was ruined by the way of slavery, man, okay, the Lord punishing us, man, and having our enemies rule over us, but now the Lord is raising us back up through this word and through the teachers that he set up through the spirit, okay, and it says, <clears throat> and it says, and I will build it as the days are old, so once again, the house of David is, is being built. And if the house of David is going to be built, man, no doubt that Yahweh Bashmiah Shah is going to set up David once again, okay, to rule his house. And that's going to come in the kingdom. So that's it on that. Let me get, um, I believe that was well, Hosea chapter 3. Hosea chapter Huh. So this is Hosea chapter 3, verse 4. And it says, For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. And that would happen, man, when we fell. Okay? Especially during the time of, you know, uh, as I say, when we fell, when, you know, King David and after King Solomon, you know, basically after King Solomon doing the history and King Solomon's sons came into the rulership, Rehoboam and Jeroboam. And then when you had the split happen between the tribes, the northern kingdom being exited or going into captivity, okay, being taken out of the land, okay, then ever since then, man, you know, we fell as a nation, okay, to the point of, you know, 70 AD to now we have, you know, us being ruled by Esau, Edom to this present day, man, in, in this American captivity, okay? So it been many days that as we, lost our inheritance and was uh, uh, exited out of our land, the Lord exiled us out of our land, we didn't have no king, man. We didn't have no no ownership, man. Okay? We was lost. But now Yahweh Bashim Yahweh 
through the awakening of through the spirit of this word, you seeing the nation of Israel being gathered, starting with the elect, the house of David, man. And that's prophecy and, and power within itself, man. And it says, For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice. It yeah, kind of we lost all that, man. Our, our heritage in a way. Okay? The law, statutes, commandments, the priesthood, okay? Us not able to, you know, sacrifice and atonement for our sins. Lose, you know, uh, uh, falling from our, our status uh, of our inheritance, knowing that we're Israelites, man. Okay? But now through the grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we have awoken, man. And through Yahweh Shai being that sacrifice that he did 2,000 years ago, that died and risen, okay, now he's rising up the elect of the nation of Israel in this time, man. Okay? <clears throat> and it says, and it says, uh, for the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without a ephod, and without a terrified. Okay? Verse 5. Here's the point. And after, afterward, shall the children of Israel return, and how we're returning. Okay? By the truth being pushed now, we're awakening and returning unto the true power once again, which is the power of us, the Israelites. We're the Lord's chosen people, man. And us only, man. Okay? And it says, And afterward shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their God, and David their king. Okay? So they proven reincarnation. Okay? The Lord saying, once the, the nation of Israel wake up to they, who they really are, Coming back into the truth, the truth being pushed. Okay, you going the Lord gonna put it in the elect mind to see David their king. And once again, we believe starting from our apostles and elders on down, okay, that the men that taught them, okay, is uh one of them being, you know, King Masha, as they say, is King David, man. And I truly believe that, man, through the spirit. Okay. Because that scripture, that's, that's going to be prophecy here in the last days as it's going to continue on. And it says, in, and, after, and afterwards shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their power, or the Lord their God, and David their king, and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. <clears throat> Aren't we in the latter days, man? Okay, so this proven right here, this, this, prop, this is prophecy, man. That in the last days that the children of Israel are going to seek David their king, and the power of David. Okay? So if they're going to be seeking David, that means David is going to have to be here, man. Or once was here, man, in this present time. Or was in this, in this present time. Proving reincarnation. And once again, King Masha, man. Okay, being King David, man. And uh, that's it on that. And I'm gonna get this last scripture, you know, get ready to close out. You know, just getting to the you know, point, man. You know, this whole lesson, you know, been you know, inspired, you know, by Apostle Gabar. And for years, you know, I have been following, you know, the apostles and elders. And I always, you know, uh accept that when they taught or told us about the history of One West, how it came about, when they came to the the um, pillars, the ones who open up the truth of their elders, and they always make mention about King Masha being King David. And I believe that for a long time, man. Okay, and Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is going to raise up our king. Okay? And this all based off faith, man. Okay, all through the spirit, man. And people that scoff and scorn, are uh, you following those men? And all the reasons why you accept. They're saying about King Masha being King David because you under their ban and all, you know, et cetera. And no, man, it's spiritual, man. This is, is this is spiritual, man. The Lord is building a spiritual tabernacle as we speak. And it's going to come into a physical form of the tabernacle of David. So meaning that the David physically is going to make his appearance again. 
And it says once again in what? Hosea chapter 3, verse 4. In the latter days, they're going to seek David, their king, and their power, man. So that's scripture, man. But it's only given to the ones that's spiritual, okay? The natural man won't understand because he's not spiritual, and the Lord haven't gave him that. Hey, last night, when we held camp, man, we talked about how the Lord revealed his secrets to the, 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 the servants, okay, the prophets. Okay, that's one of the secrets. Knowing who King David is in reincarnation here in this time or in this present time as we in this uh, on last days, man. Okay. Um, let me see Ezekiel chapter 37. Let me see verse 19. Okay, so basically this is going into when um when the Lord, the valley of the dry bones, okay, but then it came to point throughout the you know the, the, the chapter. Okay, when you start you can start up at verse 17, going into how the tribes was gathered, okay? And mainly by that way of the of the sign, the 12 tribe sign, where a lot of people try to debunk and come against, okay? Which by the way. Our apostles and elders, as they taught us through the, you know, the time of the one West history, that high priest Ariah came up with that 12 tribe sign. And that's heavy, man. Okay? And that's actually scriptural. And you can find that about, find about, about that in Ezekiel chapter 37. Okay? And starting off with verse 17. But I want to, you know, get to the point. Because this is going into how the Lord is going to gather the 12 trials of the nation of Israel, mainly the elect, and how the Lord is going to set up David in the kingdom, the rule, man. Okay, under Yahweh Shai. So let me see where I want to start. Um, I'll start at verse 21. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 21. And it reads, and it says, And I say unto them, This say the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and I will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And that's what's going to take place in the near future. And it's, you know, the time we're coming into when Yahweh shall return with the hosts of angels, what the world call UFOs, and he's going to deliver the elect out of the destruction of those thermonuclear missiles, man. And ultimately, this place, America, Babylon the Great, known as the script in the scriptures, this place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles at the peak of World War III. And that's when Yahweh Shah is going to make his second coming. And out of that destruction, the Lord is going to bring salvation to the elect, okay, delivering the elect from here out of America, and also where the elect is scattered amongst all nations. So that's what it's going into, okay? And that's the salvation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But for right now, it starts with the Lord awakening the elect through the spirit of the understanding of the true ways of these scriptures, man, okay? And it says, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And the mountains represent the government, okay? And that one nation is the nation of Israel once again, starting with the elect. The government body of Yahweh Shai when the kingdom is established, the first fruits. And it says, and one king shall be king to them all. Okay, and it says, one king shall be king to them all. Now you'll read this, man, and people are uh, uh, say that that one king that's going to be over them all, they'll say that, you know, is um, Christ, okay, who the world really calls um, Christ, man. Okay, they'll say it's Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, the Son, okay. Uh, and though Yahweh Shai is going to be king, but he's going to be kings up under him, okay. And the main king, the number one king that's going to be up under Yahweh Shai is King David, as I will continue on. And it says, and it says that one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations. Yeah. Well, there ain't going to be no more division amongst the, the 12 tribes. We ain't going to be split anymore. Uh, and it says, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them, so shall they be my people, and I will be their God. And what that going into, man? 
Okay, verse 23 here. Okay, it's going into that new covenant, man. When the law is going to be in our inward parts. Okay, when the Lord beam up the elect, the elect body is going to be changed. And from that point on out, the law is going to be in the inward parts of the elect. And the elect is going to be cleansed. You're not going to go off anymore, man. Okay, the immortality bodies, no superhuman bodies, as the Lord promised us, man. Okay, full of the, the power of the Lord, man. Righteousness. So this was going into in verse 23, man. The coming of that, that new covenant. The laws being in our inward parts and the Lord setting up the kingdom here on the earth, the rule and righteousness forever. Verse 24, the point, verse 24. And it says, and David, my servant, shall be king over them. Okay. So this going into the kingdom, man. And it says, and David, my servant, shall be king over them. And they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statues and, and do them. So that's going into the kingdom. Okay, so it's right here in verse 24. It said that David, my servant, shall be king over them. Okay, proven recarnation, man. Proving that the king David is going to be in the kingdom. Ruling in his rightful position that the Lord allotted to him, man. And no doubt, man, you know, once again, I believe through faith, as the apostles and elders, a great millstone taught us that King David or King Masha is King David, man. And he's going to rightfully own his position again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And the other men or, or the great men of the Lord or the servants of the Lord of the elect, okay, that's going to be in their lot ruling too, man. Okay, those that are the Lord servants of the elect that passed on, okay, they're going to be risen. Cause all live to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The elect man that's going to be destined to be saved uh, in that time. And when the Lord gathered the rest of the elect. Okay. And so this is you no know, uh, uh, high power, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 spiritual, man. Faith, man. And that's what it takes. Ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai giving you the understanding. And the spiritual eyes saw to see these things, to understand them, man, through the scriptures. Okay? It's totally spiritual. You, you know, these individuals that say that they can't accept King Masha being King David, ultimately because they're carnal. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh didn't give them the secret. He didn't give them the mystery when it comes to recarnation and who King David is and how he's going to soon be raised up the rule in the kingdom once you have a shot come back and establish it man okay so it's just my you no know, take on this you no know, quick uh uh response you know just my you no know, testimony and you know my personal belief it just as well i believe that other brothers as well those that's of the household of faith that believe in you how about you now shot as our apostles and elders have taught us and they still teaching and they stand to this day that they taught us that came my shot is king david Okay, and we believe that as well. Okay, so just a quick um, lesson to show you that once again, that Yahweh Bashim Shah, when the kingdom is established, established, King David will sit on the throne and rule over Israel, man. And as the as the nation of Israel, we're going to be king kings of a, uh, in the kingdom, kings and priests, as the scripture says. But David definitely going to get his position, man. Because that was lighted unto him. And Yahweh Bashim Shah do not slack when it concerning his promises. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson is edifying to the ones out there listening. Once again, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, or Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. A citation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry. And the believers as well that scattered worldwide that's in the faith and exalt in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in all truth and sincerity. Until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom.